This morning, we want to get to the big story. Everyone is talking about the air quality alerts across mm -hmm. parts of the US, including right here in Ohio with more than 400 wildfires burning in Canada right now. Yeah, so skylines are literally unrecognizable in several parts of the United States. Uh, the smoke is clouding skies so much that the FAA issued a ground stop. That is a ground stop temporarily pausing all flights to LaGuardia yesterday and slowing air travel into Newmark and Philadelphia. From the Midwest to the Northeast and down the East Coast, 90 million Americans are under air quality alerts from wildfire smoke. The plumes are funneling into 16 states from fires in Canada. Yeah, and I've been tracking the air quality alerts here in Northeast Ohio. I was talking to friends yesterday. Schools were canceled mm -hmm. in New York City because of this, and you may have seen the haze over Cleveland skyline for a couple of days now. So. It's still there and it will be there and it'll be more noticeable as we get into sunrise today, which is once again uh, just under an hour at 558 this morning. So more smoke, more haze possible. We're kind of on the edge of the more severe smoke and haze that is further east that we've been talking about. And we will continue to see those conditions again today. Something else worth noting, though, showers. There are a few spotty showers over the lake and we could absolutely see a little sprinkle pass by. It wouldn't be anything substantial, but I think any kind of rain in the forecast makes some headlines at this point in time since we're, you know, well over two weeks since we've seen any kind of rain. It is also cool again as you're waking up. Temperatures are mainly in the 40s. A few of you are in the 50s, but we should be close to 60 right now. I mean, that is normal for lows. So we're well below 45 degrees in Worcester. It is low 40s right now in Chardon. You definitely need a coat or a sweatshirt or a sweater of some kind heading out and we're still looking at that same wind flow at 5 10 miles an hour sustained over the next few hours. Yep, we see that mix of clouds and sun and haze. Temperatures will end up in the 60s by lunchtime. We're not going to really move much on the thermometer again today, Dave. We'll see if that changes. Weekend's really close and we'll see if we can finally break this hazy, smoky pattern as we look ahead. Okay. Holly, thank you. Right now, many of you have questions about whether you or your children can be outside during these air quality alerts. Lena Lai has more on what you need to know from the experts this morning. Doctors say babies and toddlers are most sensitive to this wildfire smoke. That's because kids receive higher doses as their breathing rate is faster, and then they take in proportionately greater air intake per pound of body weight than adults. So when the air quality is in the red alert range, being indoors is safest. If it's in the yellow to orange, we're probably talking you don't want them out there running around for hours kind of things, but but less than an hour is going to be fine. If it's in the yellow, they're probably fine doing their normal activities if they don't have asthma. Now, if they have asthma, the key thing is to make sure that their asthma is as well controlled as possible. To check out the air quality level in your neighborhood, we have a link to an EPA tool that's very helpful on our website, WKYC.com. In Cleveland, Lena by 3 News. Okay, Lena, thank you. And just this morning, we are learning President Biden has directed his administration to sign all federal firefighting assets to Canada. He spoke with Canada's prime minister yesterday to offer additional support to respond to these devastating fires, according to the White House. The U.S. has dispatched over 600 firefighters and support staff, along with additional firefighting resources in response to the wildfires. Nearly 9.4 million acres have already been burned, and over 11,000 people have been evacuated.